So we're going to take a look, our first look at managing user profiles inside SharePoint 2016. And the first step to do that is we click on SharePoint here from uh, the 365 Admin Center. This is going to take us to SharePoint Admin Center, Central Administration. And on the left tabs here, what we're looking for is user profiles. And when this opens up, notice this middle panel changes. We have a number of options here and some information here. And what we're looking at to start off with is managing user profiles. So this second option, if we click on that, this takes us through to this view which provides us with the option to search for users. So I'm looking for a user with the name of test. So we're going to put test in there and click find. And what you get is this kind of information, which is SharePoint based. This provides the claim and the type of user. And that's bundled together here in, in this stream. And then here we've got uh, the name of the user and their email address here. Now, when you mouse over this user, notice that you get this little black icon, this little black triangle. If I mouse off, mouse on, and sometimes you can miss this. Now this is important. If we left click this, now provides us with a number of options specific to this user. So if you had a whole list of users, it would be specific to the one that you've you've clicked on. And here you can see we can manage my size, etc, etc. Here we want to edit my profile. And this is going to bring us in to a page where we can start editing properties of this user and at the very top here we've got first name last name work telephone number department and and a whole host of other properties that we can add in here the ability to add a picture and the list goes on and here what we're looking for at this moment in time is work email address and in this work email address Notice that we've got that set up to test that nimble1.onmicrosoft.com. Now this is what Office 365 and SharePoint has allocated when we sign that user up because we signed this user up with an E3 account and that E3 account had an Outlook account attached to it and therefore it has this, this email address attached to it. Now if you've got a, an external user, they won't have an E3 account, therefore they won't have an Outlook account, therefore this won't exist. So what you can do here is you can delete this and you can set up your own email account. If you've got a Gmail account or a Yahoo account or whatever kind of account it is, you put the email address in there and from that point on any email sent to this user, whether they may be alerts, whether they may be password changes, whatever they may be, the emails, notifications is another classic, all that information will go through to this account. Now obviously if you've got a user who's got an Outlook account but they don't like to use their Outlook interface, they prefer to use a separate account such as Google or, or Gmail or something to that effect, then obviously you can redirect that from the Outlook account. You don't need to come in here and change it but this is specific to users that don't want to use an Outlook account outright, maybe external to your organization but yet you want them to still get the updates and still get the information um, and use some of the rich functionality within SharePoint and, and this is how we would do it. So I hope that's been useful and we'll pick up uh, a lot more detail on managing user profiles in another set of videos. Thank you very much for watching.